Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And I got to play with the palette that's been sitting on my shelf and I haven't really gotten to play with before. And so I did two looks and yes, my eyes are different colors. So um, I did go ahead and start off with the Beauty Bay Glow Filter and the Revolution Skin Silk. Went ahead and mixed these two together. This one's in shade light, this one's in F2. So this one's really light and this one's a little bit too bronzy for me, mixed them together and I think it came out pretty well. I did go ahead and use the e.l.f. and this one's a light radiant rosy concealer. I think it's the lightest one they have and so I use that to, or down the middle of my face, the T-zone, and um, it does go ahead and give you a really, really brightening look. And again, that's a camo concealer. This is a hydrating one from e.l.f. and this one's in light radiant rosy. And when you're wearing darker colors like this, it's really easy to get dark or dark circles right under your eyes. And so using a concealer like this, it really brightens, can really help. And um, I did go ahead and use a couple of my favorites as far as the cheeks go to gay or cheeks and so I started with this one uh, which is the Flower Beauty uh, Bronzer and Heat Wave and then what I've been wrestling around to try to get out of here there we go it's Elf and this is their uh, liquid blush in mauve so I have that on as well and I did go ahead and put on the Contrice highlighter this one's in Supreme Rose Beam so that's what I have on as far as the highlighter today. I did go ahead and use another Catrice product. This is a Sungasm powder to go ahead and it's a light pink powder that's very glowy. So it gives you a glowy overall look. And then as far as what I actually did for the palette today is I used the Midnight Palette by Beauty Bay. And I've had this one for a little while but like I said, I just really haven't had time to go ahead and play with this palette. So I went ahead and do, did one blue look and then one purple look here. It's a really beautiful palette, but it's a very intimidating palette. So this is the palette itself. The formula is great. The shimmers are pretty much amazing. And what I did for the blue look is I started in the outer corner with this one. Then I did this one in the outer corner as well. I did some of this right on the middle of the lid and then this beautiful color right on the inside of the lid. And I went ahead and I mirrored the whole thing underneath as far as the eye as far as the eyeliner goes. So the eyeliner is all the eyeshadows. And again, I put this one on the inner corner, put this one on the middle, and then I put this one on the outer corner. And it's just a really pretty palette. So as far as the way that the blue look came out, a lot of pigment. And with this particular look, I was using all the shimmer shades. And then as far as the other look, I use the purple, the top part of the palette. And again, these purples are really pretty. They're, it's really a very, like I said, intimidating because this is all blue on the bottom. And then it's all a red purple up here on the top. So they really clash. And so you look at it and you're kind of like, well, can I use... Am I just going to have to do, you know, a blue look and a purple look? Um, because they clash. And so it's really kind of hard to look at uh, this palette sometimes. It's kind of intimidating. Uh, but I started with this color in the crease. So I used a matte there. And then I did this one on the outer corner. Um, I went ahead and did this one on the lid. And then as far as the eyeliner, I went ahead and used this one, which is probably the only blue-purple that there is up here. Everything else is going to be uh, red-purple. And like I said, it's just a beautiful formula, and it's really intimidating, so I haven't been using it that much. 
Um, but like I said, I only did one color underneath here as far as an eyeliner. That's the way that the eye look came out. And like I said, it's just a really beautiful palette. Uh, with these palettes, when Beauty Bay does a palette like this, I think this is a 42 pan palette. They do a 16 pan palette and a 9 pan palette. So this is the big palette. And like I said, it's pretty intimidating. But I think it turned out to be pretty fun too. Uh, just to let you know, I did go ahead and use a Super Stay Matte Ink. This one I think is in 145, which is a real rosy color. And then I went ahead and used the uh, LA Color Shimmer Jelly and the NYX uh, Butter Gloss Bling. So that's how the lips went ahead and worked out. And I use the Essence uh, Thick and Wow and Caramel Blonde as far as that goes. And the Essence uh, Volume Stylus 18 Hour as far as the mascara goes. I think it turned out really well. Um, like I said, it's really contrasting, clashing kind of palette. So it, it does take a little while to kind of figure it out. And I've been probably avoiding it because I've been probably a little too concerned about it and so I would definitely go ahead and recommend it for anybody who wants to go ahead and pick it up and uh, I think that's everything that I did today so I hope that you have a great day and a great weekend and I'll see you later. Bye!